Hello all. Uh, as of uh, last uh, couple of days, uh, ATI AMD has decided to uh, disable direct linking. So, for example, this file here, a zip file. If you click on that, download not complete, and basically, uh, uh, it's been disabled. You can read through this if you want, but uh, it's you can see this here. That's not you can no longer do this. Okay, so once what you have to do is we'll go to the top and instead of using Yowart, you, you click, you select uh, download the tarball. I already have it here, so I'm going to uh, just cancel. And you go to your uh, downloads directory in your home folder, downloads, and you can see it here, catalyst test dot T E A R T A R sorry, dot G Z. Double click that and it's inside a folder and you can extract it and you open this up and <clears throat> there's a thing called package build and it's just a instruction file with uh, all the contrib contributors and uh, you know just the notes and stuff and if you scroll down it says source equals and then it has that direct link However, that's what the problem is. If you try to run this, it will say that uh, this zip file failed because it can no longer download that. So you, you have to edit the package build to point to the driver zip file that we're downloading. So, for example, um, without having that downloaded yet, uh, we just open a terminal here um, and just type in make and then pkg and then a dash s and as you see here one or more files did not pass the validity check and of course it's this AMD 1311 beta 6 Linux and then, uh, I'm using 64 bits so but it's only 47 kilobytes so and it's looking for the source which is pointing to this file here Okay, so we have to, like I said before, we have to tell it to point to this and not from the web. Um, it turns out that uh, you can use uh, wget. This is the link here. Uh, it's mentioned in the, inside the uh, on the uh, user repository uh, discussion. So you can copy that and then uh, wherever you want to, you can just open from <coughs> open a terminal in your home folder. And you just type in wget and then two dashes, refer, and then equals, and then just paste that in. And press enter. And uh, I have that downloaded, so I'm going to cancel. Okay, so there's one I downloaded, 160 megabytes. Let's go to downloads. I'll open up this again. Extract test. Double click. And from home, if you're in uh, GNOME Shell, you can uh, copy to or just copy to it manually. So copy to Downloads, Catalyst Test, and select there. Go back there, Catalyst Test, and you see it's here, 160 megs. So I go to Properties, make this easy, just select and copy. Now we'll open uh, the Package Build, PKG Build. Just double click to open in whatever editor you're using. And where it says source here and it says HTTP, just uh, delete that line and then uh, paste in directly because we're using the sources right within the package build. And then press Control S to save. Now we'll just open uh, a terminal here or change directory, or whatever have, the way you have it set up. And then we'll try that make. PKG dash S. There we go. Now it's uh, validated and it's an uncompressing AMD and it's going to uh, do its uh, stuff to install. All right, so after it's done compiling, uh, it's made another package uh, file here. You can double click, it's fairly uh, compressed. Uh, but these should be the instructions 
uh, to install the Catalyst uh, proprietary drivers. And uh, you can open a terminal here and you type in, uh, we'll try sudo, I don't know if it's a good idea, but pacman, sudo pacman, and then a dash capital U, and then this thing. Again, we'll just uh, copy that and then uh, paste that in and see what we get. And it asks you to remove Mesa LibGL. You say yes. Uh, remove the ATI. Yes. The video. Because I'm using the open source one, obviously. So yes. 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 So. Oh. We're going to have to remove one more thing. Um, let's hope this doesn't get too complicated. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so we're back to the answering yes. And what do we have? Mesa LibGL for removal and Catalyst test. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, <clears throat> it looks like it worked. Um, this looks very familiar from doing it from the uh, command line only when uh, this did work with direct downloading. So... Pretty much I can show you exactly what I do to install, as I said before, is uh, you should add this no mode set, but uh, sometimes they turn it off after a while and see it to work. Open a new terminal, and it's handy for reference. We'll just do uh, SU, super user, press enter, and uh, since we're in a GUI, we can simply copy and paste. So we uh, ATI event catalyst hooked and temp links catalyst. Where is it? There it is. Press enter. And again, change that to start. Press enter. And we should be done with that. Close that terminal down. And then clear screen. Pseudo. ATI config dash dash initial. Saving backup. That sounds good. So just in case I made some more notes here, I'll uh, upload these. Um, it tells you to block on in the wiki anyway, it tells you to blacklist Radeon. So I had that installed. So you have to edit the Etsy mod probe dot D. So I'll just copy this. And uh, I'll just change directory to home. And it's a sudo gedit. Blank, of course. And you just type, uh, just t put these two words in. Blacklist Radeon. And paste that in. Save. Quit. And just to be on the safe side, I'll go back into super user. And... Uh, Gedit, I guess, uh, etc slash default slash grub. And where it says uh, grub command line, Linux default, just after quiet, put a space and type in no mode set. Save, quit, and then grub dash mk config dash o slash boots grub grub.cfg okay now with any luck after a reboot uh, this should uh, be working all right so uh, obviously I'm back <laughs> and it uh, went as expected and uh, all the settings I applied uh, I didn't get any error messages and as usual the uh, my second screen is not scaled right um, that's in the Linux Arch Linux documentation under the Catalyst section, how to uh, fix the uh, scaling. Um, I might have mentioned that before in another video. But uh, that's it. That's kind of how you would build a package and install it just by downloading it and sort of editing the files. And voila, there we have AMD... Uh, Catalyst proprietary drivers up and running in Arch Linux manually, <laughs> kind of. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you 
I hope this helps you out, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.